Hey everybody, welcome back to Impossible Creatures Replays. More Scrambler stuff. We just got done with game one of the auction Scrambler game between ICUP and the Comfy Crew, and we're right back at it with a double header Comfy Crew versus ICUP. Again, this time Comfy Crew represented by Kiki, uh, ICUP represented by Ben. Uh, Toast, obviously we just saw a pretty dominant game one from ICUP. Are we going to see the same strat again, do you think? Possibly, but Kiki is aware of what they did. Yep, and uh, also that was like a, for those of you who haven't seen the replay, go watch it. And I'll give you three seconds to switch videos before I spoil what happened in it. Three, two, one. Lona Deflect Hover. Uh, with henchman heal, which will be a lot harder on midway at all. Uh, obviously, this map is Kiki's pick. Uh, perhaps specifically to counter that threat. Um, the unit will still be able to hover to Kiki's base, but it'll have to do a few hops to get there. Uh, so we'll just have to see. Hopefully, this game will actually see more than two or three combos come out. In all the auction games so far, we've only seen a handful of different yeah, units they've being been over used. Pretty quick. Hopefully, we see a bit more pizzazz this time. Uh, it's worth noting that because ICUP won the last game, if they take this game off Kiki, uh, this is uh, game over. The series is over because this is a best of three. Uh, if Comfy Crew can take this game, it goes to one all, and then the next game is going to be played on Mystery Lake, and that'll be the tiebreaker. <clears throat> so do you think Comfy Crew might have more water stock for, for swimmers? Uh, they've got a fair few water stocks. They've got things like uh, Polar Bear, Man of War, Whale Shark, Anaconda. They've got Lobster, but Lobster's really their only small... Oh, Lobster and Dolphin are their only small swimmers. Ben was not too worried about Kiki's map pick here, so I think he has an army that will do well on midway. Yeah, he has an army called Water Auction. Uh, ben is up north in the blue, Kiki's down south in orange, although I probably should say east and west because they're almost on the same longitude. <laughs> hey Toast, is it okay to say longitude or do you have to say longitude? Well, I think you've got the wrong word because I think you, you mean latitude. Because they are definitely not yep. on the same <laughs> I, <do. laughs> I had to think about that for a solid three seconds. I was, I was so confused. God damn it. Uh, see, I happen to know that um, actually uh, this map is rotated 90 degrees. From oh, that's the true. Yeah, we don't know if this is a north-south kind of situation. You got no idea, Toast. It's so don't no even clue. step to me. I will cease my stepping immediately. <laughs> Uh, ben is coming out claiming this island real early. He is taking the generator first. Oh, Kiki's and do you booming. think this henchman is going to be headed to Kiki's geyser? Or if he's just no, I don't think so. He's sending more henchmen to this island, so I think he's going to go workshop. Because <clears throat> we've seen the, the geyser snatching on this map before. And it's great. It's so good. Because it's a water, your base geyser is a water geyser, so if you take the enemy's geyser early game, it's like, well, what Oh, no, I think we're that? seeing exactly that right here. Oh, my goodness. Or <laughs> is Benjamin! This, this might also be a water chamber rush. Nah, he's looking for the geyser, you're totally yeah. right. He hasn't found it. Oh, is he going to He has it? hit level two. He's going to turn around now. It's gone too far. You've gone too far this <laughs> time, Ben. There he goes. He's finding it. He's finding it. There's a whole game going on, but I don't care about it. I'm just watching this henchman's adventures. <laughs> Here comes Kiki with the Dolphins L's. Indeed. Look at those. Powerful swimmers. Look at that 150 health, 9 damage horns. Wow, yeah. 150. Oh, look at that beautiful number. 150 health. <clears throat> 165 cost, these are pretty oh, and nice. He's units. going for, he's just spreading them everywhere. Okay, interesting call. It's unlike Kiki to not focus his forces. I think he's trying to get in Ben's head by just being everywhere. He's scouting both of the islands just to make sure. Yeah. He still doesn't he know hasn't... about the stolen geyser. He doesn't, exactly right. Ben's gotten away with it. What are these? Despite those darn kids. Mantis hogs. 
Mantis Hog. <clears throat> oh, look at all these converging. Kiki knows what he's doing. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, what's going on in Ben's base? Ben is not going three. He's got a huge electricity advantage. I wonder if he's making use of it. Um, he will get several of those Mantis Hogs up, and now the eel's coming out, so this will be hard for Kiki to assault this position. Oh, he's but just he's going, going for the generator instead, and he's gonna get it. Meanwhile, Ben down south, his henchman is building a sneaky water chamber. Oh, look at that. And Kiki not too troubled by Ben's um, by Ben's initial water uh, guys at Gambit at this point. They're pretty much on equal footing. Yeah. Not sure if Ben knows about oh. the water guys are at the back of his He's base. He would around. know if he'd expanded there. Is he going to commit Ooh. to this attack? This attack has not gone well for Kiki so far. He got a bad spread coming into the base. These Mantis Hogs are pretty cute. They're really dropping some damage. Uh, and of course, wow, yeah, no, Kiki yeah. Kind, of, kind of manages to just squash him with sheer force of numbers. He has got this one gazelle just failing to attack a Ben's And he sound is beam, not so stopping sucks. production of these. He's just streaming them from across the map. He's okay. all in on it, but Ben is going path. three. Ben is going free. That is right. But it doesn't look good for him at this point. Well, they, they sure don't do a Ben's lot of damage, these, um, these Dolph Gazelles. So these sound beams are going to be able to stay up. Yeah, and Horns does not increase damage against buildings. Ben, yeah, Ben realizing that getting some more sound beams up, good call. And he's building his hogs over here to counterattack. Wow, yeah. Ooh, I like it, Ben. Good stuff. Mind you, 150 health means that they can tank sound beams for a reasonably long time. They can, yeah. If he could get Three some of range them take units in... Seven seconds to kill. Uh, Kiki going free as well. Okay. Ben, having hit three, let's see what he produces. Walrus bulls looks like. Yum! Mmm, delicious. It's not actually. It's an octopus bull. <laughs> I've been betrayed. <laughs> Benjamin, he tricks me again. Oh, and here comes the attack from the hogs. And Kiki oh, has no production while going free. He's got no sound Kiki. at home. Oh, Kiki going to destroy Ben's expo and also making a gyro pad. Kiki does seem to be in control at this point. He's kind of exploring his options all over the map. He's not reacting to this attack at home, though. Not at I mean, all. Yeah, he might. Oh, there we he go. might not care. There's a single fence sound beam, and that'll really do it. You know, that will plow through all these uh, mantis shrimp warp yeah. And he's taking out that generator. Does Ben has no generators? Oh no, he still has Kiki's generator. He has Kiki's generator, and he's gonna claim he didn't claim his gen at home for some reason. Built a water chamber next to it, and then didn't take it. Oh, Kiki's oh, building a bunch of water chambers here. Uh, yeah, lobster tapirs for Kiki coming out. Good call. Uh, regen level three versus regen level three. Uh, meanwhile, all the dolphazels took Ben's expo. Yeah, it's hard to see what Ben's gonna do here. Yeah, Kiki's really taking map control here. Yeah, he has, and he's now um, <clears throat> he's destroyed Ben's force with these four water chambers, just brute forcing lobster tapirs out. And there's not much left from Ben. He's got a couple of these octoballs at home, but not enough oh. of them. And now he's got barrier destroy. He's got a little bit of poison coming out there in these rattlesnake snails. That's really cute. Uh, unnecessary though, because of course the bulls also have poison bite. I'm not really sure why that snail rattlesnake even exists in the army, to be honest with you. There's just so many units on the map for Kiki. Oh, it's the classic Kiki strat, you know? <laughs> Building units. Building units, you know, no one's figured out how to counter it. <laughs> oh, there's just so much barrier destroy here, these sound beams aren't gonna last. Yeah, Ben's gonna call GG here. There's just nothing else he can do. Uh, Kiki deciding to leave and check out this South Island. Um, there is nothing there. It's a well-earned, well-earned time off for these uh, 
Dolphins 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 they're going for vacation. They're just going to relax on this beach for a while. <laughs> so we are going to be seeing a third game in this series, and it's going to be on Mystery Lake. Correct. And I don't know who's going to be playing it. I think we'll probably see B Champ come out from ICUP. God, they've got so many good players. Oh, it's a last-ditch um, attempt here. A final attack from Ben coming in from the south. And he's going to spot some air it. chambers. There's air chambers right there, these poor bull octopi. I will say both both players fielding pretty strong armies. Like uh, I'm impressed with what I've seen. Yeah. Um, comfy crew able to field lobster tapirs and gazelle dolphins. That's, that's huge for them uh, on a map like Midway. Oh, was that Kiki hitting four? Um, I think it may have been, yes. Don't think it was Ben. Oh, yeah, he's making Ravonders. It was him. Oh, my God. Look at these beautiful boys. <coughs> fully upgraded. Oh, not fully upgraded. Sorry. Partially upgraded. Making angler bears. I feel like Kiki was bringing this game out so that he could make these. Oh, Ben with the eagle ants. That's really cute, too. 20 damage, level 3. Not bad. Not bad. Kiki finally taking that south geyser. Uh, he'll claim that, and then then you've got to think that then he'll go for Ben and just end this. Yeah, here come the flyers. I don't think there's anything in place to deal with those flyers. No, simply nothing. Good defense from Ben, though, not caving under the pressure. Kiki's just massing his horde out here. Oh god, those Ravondas are so scary. 35 damage upgraded with pack. And that goes to like 40 something damage, like 47 or something. You do the math. Ludicrous. There right, he goes. The GG from Ben. Game is called. Lab is blown. <laughs> Denying Kiki the satisfaction there. Ah. Uh, Wow, what a game. What a game. What a game. What a uh, game. I think we'll see the lob, the, the players join the call now. But actually in the call, we've got Beachamp from Team ICUP and Tok from the Comfy Crew and Beast from ICUP. Folks, how do you think your teammates went? Let's start with Beachamp. Uh, I think he played pretty well. Um, I mean, of course, he didn't win the game, which I'm going to have to beat him with a sack of walnuts <laughs> later. But wow. Uh, I think overall still played pretty strong given the army we had. I think they had, the comfy crew had an advantage with um, the armies when it came to water. And so seeing Ben have a still a really strong performance was really great. Can I ask what the deal was with the rattlesnake snails? Was that just a case of having two leftover creatures at the end? Uh, no, that was the case of having double regeneration, and that way we get double the bonus. Ah, that of course not true, but great meme. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's kind of leftover units at that point. Because, um, you know, he had the poison from the, the blue ring octopus, but um, which was countered by the taper. Um, I don't know if you guys mentioned that or not. But yeah, the we didn't, we immunity. didn't. That's a great point, though. Um, so they had regen plus immunity, so... Um, he really got hard counter level three. We did expect to see some form of dolphin gazelle level two, um, either yeah, with the yeah. head of the dolphin or with the the body. So, uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good game out of both of them. Uh, how about you, Talk? What do you reckon? Yeah, well, uh, I think uh, we did have the advantage in terms of the uh, amount of the stocks. So in a regular game, the, the further on it goes, the more we can uh, capitalize on that advantage. We've got better, I think, uh, it's fair to say, better level fours and fives. So that's why we uh, went for Midway at all. It doesn't matter that much that it's a water map versus a land map. But uh, the further the game goes, unless uh, you guys pull out some sort of a trick or like weird uh, um, strategy like Loner Rush or I don't know what else. Um, 
yeah, I, I think it, it played out exactly like we planned it. Hell yeah, everything going to plan for the country crew. We now have Tok and Ben in chat. Uh, sorry, not Tok. <laughs> Kiki and Ben in chat. Are either of you going to unmute and give us your thoughts? That was a pretty good game. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, ben came out real strong. I don't know if you noticed, but he took a lot of geysers early on. Yeah, I noticed. I uh, went to attack his geyser, but I didn't think much of it. Like I, I didn't think it was already there, but it was. And I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It was a good game, um, but you really came in clutch with those lobster tapirs. Like Beast said, immune and regen against the poison from those octo balls just doesn't care. We were kind of expecting a level 3 poison, and we planned for that, so I'm very glad that happened. <laughs> that's, well, that's... Why, that's how a human <laughs> <speaks>. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to see in these auction games, a bit of planning, a bit of preparation, and a bit of counter-planning. We do have, we have uh, three poison units, I believe. Yep. Yikes. You know, mm -hmm. you can pretty much expect level three or level four, you're going to see it. All right, great games, guys, and that means we are going to the third game for ICUP versus the Comfy Crew. Uh, no idea yet which team members are going to be playing it, we'll see when we can organize it. Um, Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Steve the Dark Horse uh, for Comfy Crew. Not currently in the Discord server, but still participating in the tournament. Basically, Steve is Luke Skywalker from that, uh, from that Star Wars movie, where he's on the island drinking the titty milk. Uh, <laughs> bring him back to civilization. Did Steve leave a map? I think Stella would be pretty scary to play as well. Well, we'll see. We'll see who ICUP nominates to play, because you guys have got a lot of really strong players as well. We have two left, and one's on vacation, so... <laughs> That's true, yes. Um, so I guess we'll catch you all later for the next and final game between you guys. Hopefully we'll get the next games between the wrestlers, the wrecklers, sorry, and the Falafel Raptors out of the way as well. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, donate to our Patreon. I've been Will. And I've been Toaster. And they've been the players. Hi. And, and that's all you're going to get from us. See you later. Goodbye.